I'm Emma. I'm the School and Youth Programs Manager at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, and I'm here today for another Art in Action, BEMA from Home. Today we're going to be talking about the art of instructions. When you think about art and instructions, you're probably thinking about videos like this, YouTube videos that show you how to make something new, try a new technique. Maybe you're thinking about uh, a book that you reference for instructions on how to build something or um, how to use a new tool. But actually, there are artists whose artwork themselves are sets of instructions. Artists like Saul LeWitt would give instructions to makers about how to construct his works, and the instructions themselves would be part of the artwork. Um, today I'm going to specifically talk about the artwork of Yoko Ono. Yoko Ono is an artist who uh, most people know because of her relationship, her marriage to John Lennon, a musician from the Beatles. But uh, Yoko Ono is actually a well-established artist in her own right, long before being married to John Lennon. And um, some of her work really gets at this idea that instructions themselves can be works of art. Painting to be constructed in your head. Observe three paintings carefully. Mix them well in your head. Map piece. Draw an imaginary map. Put a goal mark on the map where you want to go. Go walking on an actual street according to your map. If there is no street where it should be according to the map, make one by putting the obstacles aside. When you reach the goal, ask the name of the city and give flowers to the first person you meet. The map must be followed exactly or the event has to be dropped altogether. Ask your friends to write maps. Give your friends maps. Something that I've really enjoyed is seeing how Yoko Ono has adapted her instructions, the style of making artwork that lives in between visual art and poetry, um, into the modern format of Twitter. She is um, asking questions, getting people to engage with her instructions in ways that um, capture the power of this platform, um, but also stay true to her original form of making art. So as you were listening to that, did you create a work of art in your mind? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and let us know if you've ever uh, created a work of art that was just a set of instructions or even used Twitter as a medium. Until next time, this has been Art in Action, Bima from Home.